What's going on guys, Chris Rennick here, and today it is currently midnight, all right? Um, if you guys watched yesterday's video, and if you haven't, definitely go click up in the corner right now. You know that we got the B20 fully assembled, ready to go into the Rice Civic. So we got the turbo on, we got the manifold on, we got the transmission on, we're using the D16 harness, and we kind of converted it into a B20 harness. We don't really know if it's gonna work yet, we have no idea. We got the G37 injectors with these like adapter things, and yeah. We're pretty motivated to do this thing, but before it goes in, we need to get some mounts. And we got some EK mounts right here. I haven't opened this yet. We literally just opened it so it would be easier for me to film. But I don't even know what these things look like. And of course, it's another freaking box. All right. So we have three mounts, which we're going to have to figure out how these go. So you can see, I don't know what I'm doing, but... We are gonna try to figure this out off camera so we don't look like a bunch of a-holes. Oh, hey! Nope, that doesn't go there either. Why is there so many of them? There's a lot. You know where these go? I have no idea. <laughs> so we're gonna have to figure these out. These mounts were only $80, so I'm sure they're not good, but they're probably going to work. We have a Civic SI T-bracket in the back because I know you need one of those for the EK and that bolts to here so I take it all of this stuff is gonna come off this one that one and I don't know man we're just gonna have to figure it out but as soon as we know we'll let you know give me one second uh, so I think came up with a game plan but this car is so rusty man that I got this huge ass breaker bar and it is so hard to turn this thing but the point of this build is we want nothing in this engine bay. So we're deleting power steering. We're deleting cruise control. We already looped the heater core lines because you know I live in Florida and it's hotter than a bag of dicks. So yeah, we don't need any heat. We don't need, well we do need AC, but it's gonna be kind of a race car. So we're just gonna keep taking all this crap off and get all these mounts out. And uh, yeah, this is gonna take at least an hour. Here we go. I do wanna give you guys a heads up. So we found out how these motor mounts actually go. And the good old $80 eBay mounts, like don't get me wrong, they're great, they're gonna work, but you need to modify them to work. And I don't know if I got a bad batch or what, but this one is actually for, here, I'm just gonna take it out to show you. This one right here is actually for the passenger side. And there's two bolt holes right there and a third one. You can see it makes this like ghetto acute triangle. I think it, acute's a smaller triangle, right? I think this is an acute triangle. I haven't been to school in a long time, but if you can see this, I mean, you kinda can't, but it doesn't line up with the bolt hole enough. So what I need to do is I need to shave this out, which makes it a little sketchy because then we don't have a lot of material on this end, but I had to shave this one and I have to shave this one to make it work. But you get what you pay for. They're not perfect mounts, but they're sure as hell gonna work when we're done with them. Just giving you a heads up, $8 eBay mounts, you're gonna have to modify. So I must say it is nice to only spend $80 on mounts, but when you have to spend 45 minutes to an hour modifying them all to work, it gets a little annoying. So like, if you go has sport or if you go innovate, nine out of 10 times, you're probably just gonna bolt them in, everything's gonna be all right. If you go eBay, Walmart special, you're gonna be doing this. Oh, it, sorry, the drill got switched. My bad. Take four. All right guys, so 1.15 in the morning. We think that the engine is ready to go in. This mount went in smoothly. We just needed to grind a little of the bracket right there. This mount went in perfect. It literally just bolted up. This mount was an absolute pain in the hiney. I had to drill out every single hole and just spread them out to the point where it's almost dangerous because I had to grind it so much. But it's all right, 80 bucks, save money, live better. Hack job, you know what I mean? We deleted the power steering. We looped it right here. Um, this is the return line. We got our slave hanging over there just to make sure it doesn't get caught in everything. This is our feed. We're going to pop this off and we're probably going to have to unbolt this from the firewall for a little bit just to run a little ghetto setup because this line's not big enough. But we'll like make that an A in line or something. Probably not. I don't know. If it works, it works. We'll see. But yeah, we're ready to lift this thing up. We're going to put the engine under it and we're just going to slowly go down and see if we can get the mounts in. Wish us luck. Let's see what happens. All right, so we just put the engine under the car and we already realized a big problem. So the turbo, if you follow the turbo straight up, 
it's already like right next to the bumper and the intake manifold. If we push it back anymore, it's gonna hit the subframe. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pop the turbo manifold off and the turbo in the return line, and we're just gonna put that back on when we actually get the engine in the car. Please, if you're gonna listen to one thing on this channel, do not buy eBay mounts. This has been an absolute hellhole. We've had to modify every single thing. What's this company? Do not buy from this company. I hate them. Black Path. Thank you for your purchase. Joke. There, that company is a joke. I don't know. I got the 97 to 2000 EK mounts or whatever for this car, for the B18 to B20 series, and it's going bad. It's, it's going really bad. We're working on an hour and 20 minutes just to get this engine in. Like, I know for a fact if we got Has Sport or Innovate, this um, engine would be in with flying colors, but the only difference is these mounts were 80 bucks in the Has Sport, which is totally worth it, by the way, is like three to 400 bucks, which if I can go back in time, I would have just spent the money and done it right the first time, but here we are, cutting every bracket. Hey, someone just bought something, thank you. But um, guess next clip the engine's gonna be in. 4 a.m. right now, so the engine is finally in the car, and these mounts, let me tell you, this thing is solid. This thing's gonna be a straight shatter box. Like, you can't even, there is no give to this engine whatsoever. Every single mount that is in this car is 100% modified. This one, we can only get one to work no matter how hard we tried. We had to actually end up cutting this ear off because this mount was like too big and too bulky and it just kept hitting it. And just don't get them. Don't get these mounts. Learn from me. It was it took us three hours to get this stupid engine in the car and it was honestly chaos. And we had to do a lot of cutting and a lot of different drill holes and all that nonsense. But I'm hoping by the end of this video, it's going to start. I'm going to go home. I'm going to go to bed, get a good night's sleep and hopefully start this back up in the morning. And I mean, we don't really have much to go, like connect the intercooler piping, plug in the S300, and just do miscellaneous stuff like the gas lines, the throttle cable, and just little stuff like that. Put oil in the car, put the wastegate on, which doesn't really matter for it to start, but you get the point. It's 4 a.m., I'm out of here, peace. the rest of the stuff in and literally like 10 minutes we go to plug the battery in things sparking like crazy so immediately we're like okay there's obviously a power and ground like touching somewhere or something is shorting the system like what's going on so we finally figured it out and we came to the conclusion is this dude gonna hit me now we came to the conclusion that the starter was bad and it was like shorting out inside of the starter which I've, I've never even heard of that happening but yeah, so we have a bad starter. So we're actually going to AutoZone right now. We're gonna pick up a new starter. We're gonna put the starter in, and I think, I mean, we'll definitely be able to crank it tonight for sure. Um, I'm, I'm a little confused with the S300 and it running. I might have to download like the program on my computer and try to like get a base map or something, because I don't even know if this computer was ever used. I don't really know anything about it. So I think we're gonna be able to figure it out for sure. If it starts tonight, man, I'll be pumped, but uh, we'll give you guys one more poll and, um, Gonna start working again. That was a bad launch. Woo! See the shop. Man, she looks so beautiful in the car. Like it looks like it belongs in the EK. I got good news, I got bad news. Good news is the new starter, it fixed the problem. We connected the battery. No sparks. Everything was great. We went to go crank it. Things crank and everything's going good, but we don't hear a fuel pump. There's no fuel pressure. We even took the return line off. The fuel pump's not kicking on whatsoever. So we're trying to figure out what is causing that. We did use a D16 harness. I think that it has something to do with like a ground issue or something, but we have a ground strap here, ground strap there. We have the injectors grounded to this right here. And we even checked the voltage at the fuel pump. And when the key is turned, it's still, it's getting 12 volts. So I don't know. And then we thought it was a computer. We tried. 
two P28s, we tried the S300, nothing, and then we even went back to the stock D16 ECU and we were like, all right, well, it's probably not gonna start, but since that computer belongs with this harness, maybe we can hear it prime, and we still turn the key and nothing. But the car does crank, I'll show you that right now. The only issue is we're not getting any fuel, and it's very frustrating that we've made it this far so fast, and I'm terrible at diagnosing. Like, I honestly have no idea what they even do right now. I mean, we tried a bunch of things already, but nothing seems to be working. We checked all the fuses, we checked all the relays. I took the glove box out because the fuel pump relay is over there. Held it, made sure it clicked and all of that, and it does. <sighs> I don't know, man. Let's hear this thing crank. As you can see, it's in the prime mode. No fuel pump, but... I mean, battery's dying, of course. We have a jump pack to it and everything, but it sounds healthy. I, I'm a little nervous about these solid mounts because when I first went to start it, it was like, you could feel it in the steering wheel, and it's just really, really rough. So I'm, I'm hoping I don't get arthritis from just holding this wheel and it vibrating and everything. I don't know, it's $80 mount, so anything's possible. Another thing that went wrong is I was pumping the clutch, and I'm like, wow, man, this feels great. Pump, pump the clutch a little more. Clutch line blows, thing just bursted, so now we need a new clutch line before we drive the car. But, engine's in the car, engine's cranking. I don't know, man, this is rough. Uh, I'll let you know when we figure something out. All right, guys, well, I really didn't want it to come down to this, but I think we're gonna end the video right here just because it's getting late again. I don't wanna miss a day. Ever since we got back from the UK, I don't know if you've noticed, but I have been straight grinding on the YouTube videos every day, getting up, just making videos for you guys to post them, and hopefully you guys are enjoying them. Um, we're not gonna stop working. We're gonna keep trying to get this to work. I'm really hoping start a next video This thing is going to be running. We can rev it Maybe we can even do one or two Camry starts. You know what I mean? Just just for the good old laughs We've tried 101 things as you can see right here. We have one p28 um, This is the stock d16 one. This is a p28 for a b20 and we even have the S300 somewhere in this chaos, but we've tried a lot. Uh, we came to the conclusion that it's not an ECU. I'm still, we, we've checked every fuse in the car. Tell them straight up, I know they don't like me, but fuel pump has power. Yeah. It's just not priming with the key on. The fuel pump has power, it's just not priming with the key on, correct, yeah. It's weird, yeah, because we, well, I, that's what I said. I checked, we checked it with the voltmeter and it just didn't work, so I don't know. There's the S300. We're gonna keep working at it. To be honest, I can't wait till Roberto comes back. He's gonna come back to the shop tonight, and that dude's a wiring god, so he's gonna take a look at this thing, and it's probably gonna be something so stupid, I'm gonna be like, wow, that was not smart. But if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys wanna subscribe for more, subscribe for more. But like I said, hopefully tomorrow this thing is running. We're really grinding on this thing. We were here till 4 a.m., and we've been here for I don't know, a good seven hours trying to figure this out, like getting a starter, doing that. First, we had to figure out the starter problem because we didn't even know it was a starter. We used the voltmeter with the impedance setting and we were kind of just going around unplugging everything to see where the short was and we literally unplugged every single thing and then the last thing we unplugged was the starter and uh, noise went away. So, told us to get a new starter. Anyways, guys, I'm rambling at this point. Don't forget to go down in the description below and get your junk merch. I will see you guys tomorrow with another banger. Peace out.